Authorities tonight are investigating the cause of a deadly fire in northeast Philadelphia. One person was killed. Three firefighters suffered minor injuries. Eyewitness News reporter Greg Argos is live near the home along Birch Road to explain why this was such a difficult firefight. Greg? And the commissioner says it was so difficult to fight this place because of the amount of debris inside this home. In fact, take a look. Investigators had to use a backhoe to remove some of this debris so they could get inside and figure out what started this blaze. The harrowing call for a house fire with entrapment came two minutes after four Friday afternoon. This was an all hands fire. Dozens of firefighters battling the flames and smoke in this home on the 3200 block of Birch Road in the northeast. But the conditions inside very challenging conditions inside the building, including a possible hoarding situation coupled with the blaze meant firefighters had to shift their method of attack. We always try to fight, try to fight the fire from the inside out. Uh, the reality is, depending on the degree of damage, depending on the intensity of the fire, depending on the structure, these are all very difficult calls to make. Uh, at some point, we almost always have to pull people out. And when the fire was placed under control one hour later, firefighters also pulled out one man. Killed during the fire, a second person still unaccounted for. We're not happy about the outcome here. I'm sad about it. My heart goes out to the family. Dozens of neighbors gathering to watch the response. I never seen something like this before. Nearly everyone saying the people living in the home kept entirely to themselves, and neighbors just glad the fire did not spread to either adjacent house. Now, fortunately, tonight that second person was not recovered or not found, I should say, by investigators. However, that fire did cause damage to the neighboring home. We're told by the Red Cross six family members in that house have been displaced. As for those three firefighters injured, we're told they will make full recoveries. I'm live here in the Northeast, Greg Argos, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Greg, thank you. A 